Well, good late morning to you. Today is exactly two weeks since my total right knee replacement uh, surgery. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, two nights ago, I didn't tape it as well. I had a video before that showing you how to tape it up. It's been working like a gym. I'm less to left a hole or taped too close and it got a little wet. So I had to take the gauze bandage off and the padding that was underneath there. And I gotta tell you, there's very little swelling at all in my knee. This is two weeks out. Uh, this is not much at all. When you look at both of my knees together, it's almost the same. Um, but I continue to press on with the, the PT. Um, I'm on the leg bender, CMD or something. Uh, and I'm up to, uh, it bends it to 100 degrees uh, for two hours for me. And I, it says do it three times a day. I don't have that time. Like I'm busy, but so uh, I do it twice a day. Uh, but it, that really helps. But I got to warn you, yesterday, someday, <laughs> days roll in day after day. I was taking a nap at four o'clock Saturday afternoon. Uh, this is Monday. And uh, in my wife and daughter were watching a scary movie in the other room. And, and you know how they call out? Well, in my dream, I thought they needed me. And I jumped out of bed and hopped to the door to help my family like like a dad would do. And then it was just a dream, but I hurt my knee doing I tweaked it somehow. I gotta tell you, I went into a spiral of like, whoa, what if I have to have this operation again? I don't know if I can take this. And But my daughter came to me with scriptures and read over me. And then every night we've been reading scriptures out loud uh, for good night sleeps and protection and for healing. That really has been a big help. But she also took me to the stairway behind me here and had me lay at the bottom step and put my feet up the, up the stairs where my feet are really elevated and flat. And it did something to me where I, it was painful doing that after that fall, but it went away. Whatever that tweak thing was, it's back to the normal progression where it should be uh, on day 14, 15 after surgery. So... That really helps, Do try doing that. Also helps your digestive system, helps you uh, continue to go to the bathroom correctly, positively. So, and that's all was fixed after the five, first six days. I, that became okay, no problem anymore, but. So press on, don't panic. Before you take a nap, no, don't wake up and jump out. Everything's gonna be okay. That, that's hard not to do, but. But keep up your PT. Uh, the P, I did call my uh, PT guy yesterday. He said, just take it easy today. Just do one set of ex exercise instead of the double that I've been doing. So I did, and I think that, that rest helped too. And, oh, by the way, my sleep pattern is picking up much better. I'm, uh, I go to bed about 10, uh, and the trick is I found that if I take a half an Ambien uh, prescribed by my doctor, uh, I sleep I wake up an hour later and then and another another hour after that, you know, fixing everything, getting settled. But but then I sleep that total of four hours at four o'clock or I guess that's six hours later. My alarm goes off and I reset the uh, the ice machine. I, I sleep all night with that ice machine. And, and most of the day I have ice on all the time. And uh, and then I go back to sleep at four. I take that other half of that Ambien. Guys, I didn't get up till 9.30 this morning. I just slapped through. It was like wonderful. And I know uh, that's when you when you heal up the best, when you can sleep. So ask your doctor about Ambien. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But I travel internationally, and so I use that to reset my clock as I travel. So try it. Uh, hopefully that works for you. And also another, I've never been able to sleep on my back. I'm a side sleeper. But I'm putting all these pillows at my feet and getting my legs elevated. Not bent, but elevated. And uh, I'm sleeping like that now. And it's, you know, with pillows packed around me. Uh, uh, even my little puppy loves it. He's over there against me, <laughs> loving this new padding that we have there. So um, whoever's watching this, uh, hang in there. You, you're going to get through this. This is day 14. I'd never, it was so painful getting to this point. It just, I didn't see it coming. But here it is. And tomorrow I see the doctor and I can't wait to give you a report on how am I actually doing. Uh, the PT guy says I'm at 93 uh, uh, extension where I pull my knee up to my chest at 93, but here are this machine's doing it at 100. 
So we'll see. He'll be here at one. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll do the exercises now, and then in a few hours when he gets here, I'll do another set of exercises with him. And then I guess uh, next week I'll start the outpatient PT. That's I hear that's when it's going to get a little pain, a little uncomfortable, as they say. We know that means pain, but I'm I'm willing to do it. I've got mountains to climb and uh, countries to visit and people groups to visit uh, as a missionary that I am. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video today.